What's going on guys is going to be a quick review of the snap and snap on or snap offs LN 47 ACFs. These are pretty great plier overall, super versatile. I've been pretty happy with them. There's a few things I don't like. Starting off with some of the basic features, you've got the main reason for buying them, this triple adjustment joint. Uh, surprisingly handy actually. I find if I'm using the space in the middle here to try to get on a nut or usually a pipe fitting of some sort, uh, these jaws grip okay. They could definitely see some improvements, especially when you compare them to, if I can grab them here. Oh, I don't have a big set handy, but if you compare them to the Nipex Cobras, you know, seven and a quarter inch or the 10 inch variety, uh, these don't really grip as well. So if you've got rusty old pipe fittings or anything like that, or anything with even moderately snug access, the tips on these get in the way quite a bit. And, uh, you know, but for here and there, grabbing stuff, these center jaws are pretty nice. Uh, the tips, if you can try to zoom and focus in here. Eh, it's not really wanting to do that. Anyway, uh, the tips are pretty nice. They're uh, not perfectly durable, right? I don't think they're as hard as the Nipex Cobras. I've got a fresh pair here. I ordered a fresh pair to keep in my truck. And I noticed right off the hop as soon as I opened them that the tips on these are much sharper. You see the guys online picking up dimes and stuff uh, with them. I tried doing that with these after I'd used them for a while and yeah they don't do that anymore but they're still an extremely useful plier. Uh, this section right here with the super aggressive teeth grabs really nicely especially for ripping out wires out of paneling. Oh man if you don't if you're just doing some demo work these things grab um, I've cut a lot of, of baling wire with these, and I don't know if I'll be able to make it out with this camera. I've just got autofocus on, so. But there is a slight little nick right in the where the wire, the baling wire, sits when I snip it. And I have not really cut anything else but baling wire with these. Um, they don't work super well for stranded, uh, regular solid copper, these work fine for. But generally, I'm going to have a dedicated pair of electrical strippers or whatever in my pocket if I'm doing any sort of electrical work. But just for a quick snip of uh, whatever, eh, the cutters work pretty good. I do like the squared off nose for whatever reason. I don't know if it's for tight access or being able to dig at stuff. I, I like this squared off, squared off tip on here. Uh, pliers do have a little bit of slop, even the new ones. But definitely not as much. I've used these for poking ice out of a furnace vent or furnace breathing tube. We get a lot of condensation here where I live, so I use these to beat the ice out of there. I've used them for prying shims out from underneath the bearings. I've used them for all sorts of stuff. I would happily buy another pair if I lost these. I would hate to lose them. But I would happily buy another pair. Like I said, I bought another pair just for the truck. If I go to over to friends and family's houses, I always got a nice set. Now, uh, things I don't like, a couple things. One being the metal seems to be a little bit softer than you know, some high-quality German steel. And then the other thing is these things just rust like crazy. Um, I do work around steam lines and just sort of generally humid environments so that sort of plays into it but i mean these things have a surprising amount of rust you'd think for the price you pay they'd have a better corrosion resistant coating on them uh, for example the ones on the full-size cobras it doesn't rust very easily and if it does get some surface rust i can usually take a wire brush and scrub it off but these i had to take to the bench grinder to get a lot of the rust off i do like cleaning my tools off every once in a while otherwise uh, they get it all full of gunk and I don't know it's nice to keep all this stuff nice and lubricated in here all these moving components so the pliers continue to serve me well 
Now, I also just purchased the little baby version. These are sort of interesting. Now, compared to the big ones, uh, you're definitely not going to get as much leverage if you're deciding if you want to buy the small ones or the big ones first. Well, the small ones are obviously a lot more pocket friendly. These are just at seven inches long. I think the snap on website advertises six and three quarter. And I was super happy about that because that means you can carry these on an aircraft in your carry on bag. But uh, tip to butt, it's like seven inches or seven and a sixteenth. So kind of in that gray zone. And I don't know if I'd want to risk TSA snagging these and sell them on the dark web. Uh, but again, if you're looking to buy one or the other, I would say it depends on your application. So if you're a heavy duty user and have the pocket room, uh, big ones, you can definitely reach up in deeper into some tight spots or these guys, you don't have as much reach and also the, uh, don't have as much contact on the jaws. I've been super happy with these. Um, these are not going to fit in my pants side pocket as well, so I'm probably not going to carry them. This is going to be in my motorcycle bag, motorcycle bag. But after anything like the big ones, they should last a long time and be some pretty handy pliers, especially for hose clamps and stuff on my motorcycle. Uh, I could see these being super useful. And usually if I'm on my motorcycle, I'm going to family and friends house and every once in a while I wind up doing something for them. It's going to be nice to have a nice little set of quality pliers with me. Uh, another quick comparison would be these icons. I have not used these much. These have been my uh, truck pliers. Uh, my truck lock, my truck box that sits in the bed of my truck does not lock. I don't have the key for it so I wanted to buy a little bit more affordable but still decent quality pair of needle nose pliers. I would say if you're in the market for these snap-ons and you're looking at these icons like, oh, maybe I'll try these out, I'd say save your money. Uh, these icons are okay, but if you look, they only cut teeth in the first little bit there, and I can't get my camera to focus, I'm sorry, but they only have teeth that far, and then it's just smooth. No cutters. I mean... Yeah, for pulling wires, you know, off of capacitors or just doing whatever you need to do with needle nose pliers. I'm sure these are probably better than your El Cheapos, but yeah, just lacking features. But uh, overall, I think this finish looks a little nicer than the snap-on finish. I think the snap-on's like stonewashed and these are kind of stonewashed too, so they might rust, rust just as quickly, but... They do seem to have a little bit uh, nicer appearance, which doesn't really matter. I mean, these get used for two, three months, and they start developing a weird uh, kind of patina on them. Another thing I don't like about these snap-ons is the laser engraving. Why? Why, why? Uh, they stamped or forged the snap-on logo into these. But then the laser engraving, I mean, you just whiff that with a wire wheel, and it rubs right off. Which is fine, I guess. You know, it doesn't really matter to me. But, you know, why do you... I mean, you stamp USA on it too, and that's great, but why can't you just stamp that in? You know, I guess making that part of the uh, forging die would be pretty difficult. So, can't say I 100% blame them. And it would be not so great if these pliers went from 70 to 80 bucks because of that. Again, overall, yeah, I'd be happy to buy another pair. I might even buy one more full-size pair uh, for a, dif a different bag. I've been super happy with them. The adjustable feature is pretty handy for some stuff. Three-quarter inch and half-inch lock rings inside of electrical boxes. These are kind of handy for. And just the oddball stuff, holding strange-shaped objects while you're drilling into them bunch of random things it's just an additional feature in more or less the same footprint obviously these are not the same size pliers but yeah they're a little wider than your average needle nose but they feel solid they feel rugged they feel reliable which is what's important to me in a tool that i carry with me and use every single day so hopefully 
you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or anything like that uh feel free to drop a comment in the comment section i'd be happy to reply and thanks for watching